This is the Roxa Lantern Peach. Uh, this is a cross between a Scarlet Lantern and a Shara Roxa. So I have no idea how hot it is. This is probably going to be the last pot I review. Um, the others are starting to get to that stage to where they need I need to do something with them. I don't know if I'm going to do fermenting or if I'm just going to dehydrate and powder. We'll see. Probably just make a sauce out of them. I got a lot of red peppers in that box, so might just do something with that. But again, it's, it's going to be Roxa Lantern Peach. I don't know if I said peach when I initially said it, but that's what it is. So yeah, I'm going to take these seeds out because some of them are a little dark. Someone's dog doesn't know how to stop barking, so y'all are just going to have to bear with me on that. I'm pretty sure the mic's picking it up. Then again, why is it an outside dog? Uh, what's the point of having a dog if it's going to just stay outside? tied up to a tree. I don't know. Not a fan of that. But anyway. Roxa Lantern Peach. So. That was very sweet. That was actually, it had some citrus tones to it. So very, uh, had like, almost like if you put some, got like the little, if you go to the store in the produce section, usually they have the pre-made lemon juice or whatever. It's like in a plastic tub. It's like you got the pepper and you put a couple droplets of that. That's what it tastes like. Very sweet, no floral. Uh, a little bit of bitterness when I was like, you know, swallowing it, probably those seeds, but Yeah, it's pretty good pepper. Uh, heat right now is kind of building, so I can't really rate it yet. But that is a good pepper. So if you if you like sweet, like sugar rush peach style sweet, that's kind of what it reminded me of. Uh, yeah, kind of like a sugar rush peach stripey. How you get that really really sweetness just up front, and then you get the heat that kind of builds afterwards. I don't know what the heat rating of this is. I would estimate um, somewhere between habanero and ghost. I don't think this is over a million. It's definitely a burn though, not like a sting, but it's pretty good pepper. Roxa Lantern Peach. Yeah, if you look up the pictures, uh, that one was a little, <clears throat> so like the top of it has like the lantern shape, but the the one I just ate, so it was like longer at the bottom. But if you look them up, they have they have like the l little lantern shape. They're a little, l usually a little more uh, plump. I guess is the way to describe it. Like they're short and stubby. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about that. It's a good good pepper. Uh, very sweet. Like I said, if you like sweet peppers and citrus peppers, that's definitely a good too. Taste is pretty high on my scale. Heat, maybe a three or four. Pretty good pepper. Yeah, the, the, the heat's already gone. Well, it's not gone, but it peaked. So, all right, well, that was Rock's Lantern Peach. I highly recommend it. If you want a really sweet pepper with some citrus stones, go ahead and grow it. Thanks.